Holy Spirit of the Living God. Good evening, Holy Spirit. Good evening, government of God. Good evening, presence of God. Good evening, Holy Spirit. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Thou art welcome in this place. Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit of Acts, Holy Spirit of Pentecost. We yield ourselves in your presence. We yield our mind in your presence. We yield our thoughts in your presence. We have come to host you. We have come, Holy Spirit. We have come, Holy Spirit. We have come, part of God. We have come, government of God. We have come, Holy Spirit. We have stopped everything. We have stopped everything for you. We have stopped everything for you, Holy Spirit. We have stopped everything for you, Holy Spirit. We need you, we need you, we need you. We need you, our God. Where will we be without you, Lord? Where will we be without you? Holy Spirit of Acts, where will we be without you? We are useless without you, Holy Spirit. 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 We need you in our minds. We need you in our thoughts. We thank you for everything you've done. We thank you for the weak, Holy Spirit. We thank you for the weak. We thank you for the weak, Holy Spirit. Thank you for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for Sunday. Thank you for everything you've done. Holy Spirit of Acts, we love you, we love you, we love you. We love you, Holy Spirit. We need you, Holy Spirit. We invite you, Holy Spirit. Somebody invite the Holy Ghost. Talk to the Holy Spirit. Dedicate yourself to him. Thank him for the week. Surrender to him. Is a night like no other. Is a night like no other. Spirit, surrender your mind. Surrender your thoughts. Surrender your spouse. Surrender your children to the Holy Spirit. Welcome the Holy Ghost. Welcome the Holy Ghost, my sister. Welcome the Holy Ghost, my brother. He told us to host him 90 days. He told us to host him 90 days. He told us at 10 p.m. East African time that we stop everything for him. And he said as we do so, he is going to do amazing things. He is going to do mind-blowing stuff in the name that's above all other names. Somebody begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and welcome the Holy Spirit. Surrender your life. Life. Surrender your mind, surrender your thoughts, surrender your spirit, surrender your body, surrender your business, surrender your, your, your home to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we need you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, have your way. Holy Spirit, fill us. Holy Spirit, fill us. Holy Spirit, fill us. Fill us to the overflow. Fill us, Holy Ghost. Good evening, Holy Spirit. Good evening, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of the living God. Holy Spirit of the living God. Holy Spirit of the living God. Come and brood in us. Come and fill us today. Come and move in our midst. We need you. We need you. We need you. Somebody, somebody who needs the Holy Ghost, open your mouth and tell him, I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you, Holy Spirit. Spirit. I need you, Holy 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 Spirit. Yesterday is gone. Today I am in need. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you, Holy Spirit. I need you, Holy Spirit. Reba do basota rabadosha. Reba kosata rabako sotoro bodosha. Reba kosotoro boko sotoro bodosha. Reba sotoro broko sotoro bodosha. Holy Spirit. Spirit, I need you, 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 I need you in my marriage, in my family, in my business, in my health, in everything I'm doing. I need you, Holy Ghost. Come and have your way, 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 Holy Spirit. Spirit of Pentecost, Holy Spirit of Acts, come and have your way. Somebody open the gate. Open the gate for the Holy Spirit. The Bible said that behold I stand, behold I stand 
Behold, I stand, hallelujah, at the door and I knock. Whoever opens for me, says the Lord, I will come in and dine with them. I will come in and dine with them. In the name of Jesus, child of God, we have dined with the enemy so long. It is time to dine with the Holy Spirit. The enemy has get crushed our programs. It is time to, 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 to surrender to the Holy Ghost. In the name that is above all other names, open your mouth and begin to welcome the Holy Spirit. It is a night like no other. I am telling you the Holy Spirit is doing amazing things. The Holy Spirit is literally defeating the devil. The Holy Spirit is literally fixing situations. Somebody open your mouth and welcome the Holy Ghost. Tell him I am hungry for you. Holy Spirit, I am hungry for you. I need you. I need you in this testimony service. I need you. Mama, pray. Mama, pray. Don't touch the dial. Don't touch the dial. Open your mouth and say, I am I am hungry for you, Holy Spirit. My family needs you. My business needs you. My wife and children needs you. My ministry needs you. My health needs you. My nation needs you. Open your mouth and begin to welcome the Holy Ghost. I want to God bless those who are sharing the broadcaster. God bless those who are sharing the broadcaster. God bless those who have started the watch party. God bless those who are tagging their sisters, their brothers. God bless those who are, who are welcoming their friends. God bless all of you in Jesus' name who are posting in different groups. Begin to post. Begin to share the broadcaster as you are praying. Open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Don't ask him for money. Don't ask him for business. Don't ask him for healing. Don't ask him for anything. You just welcome the Holy Spirit. I work, just welcome the Holy Ghost. I need to follow instructions very well. Don't ask him for anything. Don't ask him for marriage. Don't ask him for house. Don't ask him for anything. You just welcome him. You just welcome him and say, Holy Spirit, of the living God. You are the one I'm longing for. You are the one I'm longing for. Without you, I am useless. Without you, I am nothing. Without you, I am nobody. In you, I live, Holy Spirit. In you, I breathe. In you, I move. In you, I have my being. Holy Spirit of the living God. I need you, I need you, I need you. I am not I am not the head of the family. Holy Spirit, you are the head. I am not the boss of that organization. You are the boss. I am not Holy Spirit the living God, the owner of that. You are the owner. Come and take over, come and take over, come and take over, come and take over. Take over my children, take over everything. In the name of Jesus, everything that I was calling my own, I give it to you, Holy Spirit. Rule over my life reign in my life. Holy Spirit, come and move. I welcome you right into my life. I welcome you into my business. I welcome you into my relationships. I welcome you into my marriage. I welcome you into this broadcast. I welcome you into everybody, every partner in this broadcast, every tither, every sower, everybody that is viewing this broadcast, wherever they are viewing from. Holy Spirit, just invade their lives. Just take over. Somebody begin to pray begin to pray my brother pray don't be a spectator don't be a spectator hallelujah glory don't be a spectator welcome the holy spirit share the broadcast to 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 a to hundred groups and welcome the holy ghost remember this is your season in the name of jesus check around and find out if your friend is here welcome them welcome them welcome them welcome them welcome them in the name that's above all other names the devil is a liar in the name of jesus the devil is a liar in the name of jesus somebody 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 pray somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray rebado baso talabado saka talabayanda mareko sata rabako soto we don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. We don't serve a blind God. We serve an all-knowing God. We don't serve a deaf God. We serve an omnipresent God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he says yes, nobody can say no.
if he says yes nobody can say no in the name that's above all other names somebody pray somebody share somebody post somebody share the broadcast to a to, to hundred groups in the name of Jesus I'm telling you child of God we have entered in a very serious season in the name that's above all other names I want to let you know something child of God we are in a season where the enemy is spreading fear the enemy is literally spreading fear hallelujah and not only spreading fear the enemy is literally advertising fear advertising fear hallelujah we see on our television uh, free adverts of fear in the name of jesus hallelujah glory the enemy has given fear my god almighty airtime in our televisions in our radio hallelujah the spirit of fear has been given airtime in a prime television in prime news hallelujah glory and child of god i'm telling you the bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god somebody share the broadcast i feel the anointing of the holy ghost i'm telling you child of god something is about to come on you it is the power of the holy ghost just stop just don't stop sharing the broadcast share the broadcast to everybody share i need 10 people who can share the broadcast to 30 groups i need 10 people can share the broadcast to 30 groups i'm talking about the devil has been hallelujah god bless you god bless you god bless you foolish mina hallelujah glory god bless you for joining I'm telling you, the enemy is a liar. We are talking about the enemy has literally given fear airtime. Fear is earning airtime on our televisions, on our radio stations, everywhere. The spirit of fear has been given prime airtime in the news. Hallelujah, child of God. And so, as a believer, you need to know about this. The Bible says, by you, we, do, we, we, we don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. And faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God hallelujah glory so if faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god also fear cometh by hearing and hearing by the words of the devil hallelujah glory the many times you keep on hearing negative news the many times you keep on hearing my god almighty negative information bad news on everywhere is the many times if you're not careful child of god you can pick up fear hallelujah but as we are hosting the holy spirit we have come to tell the devil that the holy spirit is ejecting him out of our system in the name of as above all other names we have come to tell every spirit of fear every spirit behind fear we have come to tell it that god has not given us the spirit of fear but the spirit of boldness and sound mind somebody shared their broadcast to a hundred groups i feel the anointing of the holy ghost distance is not a barrier with the holy spirit i said distance is not a barrier with the holy spirit when Wherever you are, child of God, begin to receive your testimony. Begin to receive from the Lord. Begin to receive distance is not a barrier. But my God Almighty, with the Holy Ghost, I want to believe God. God bless those who are sharing the broadcast. Advertise the Holy Ghost as many times as you can. Find out if your brother is here or if your sister is here. If they are not there, Tag them and ask them, where are you? Where are you? We are already halfway. Hallelujah glory my god my god my god the holy spirit told us to host him he told us to host him 90 days he told us to date him 90 days and he said as we host him for 90 days he is gonna do amazing things mind-blowing stuff he said that at 10 p.m east african time we stop everything for him we stop everything for him somebody type and say holy spirit good evening i have stopped 
up to everything for you. Uh, greet the Holy Spirit uh, and tell him, good evening, Holy Spirit. Uh, I have stopped everything for you uh, in the name that's above all other names. Uh, in this time and season uh, when the enemy is selling fear, the enemy has given fear airtime uh, on our TV stations, uh, on everywhere. Hallelujah. Child of God, uh, we need, hallelujah, as much faith as possible because without faith, uh, it is impossible to please God. Hallelujah. The Bible says that when sin did abound, grace did much more abound. In this time that fear has abound, we need faith to even to, to greatly abound in the name of Jesus. And so in this day, hallelujah, this is our testimony service. You need to know, child of God, that your testimony is very, very essential. Your testimony is very, very pivotal in overcoming the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory. If you're going to overcome the enemy, you cannot leave your testimony behind. You cannot leave your testimony behind. Hallelujah. Glory. I said the other day that a testimony, hallelujah. Glory. A testimony and the blood of Jesus are like twins. Are like twins. Hallelujah. A testimony and the blood of Jesus are like twins. Hallelujah. A testimony simplifies the word of God. A testimony simplifies the word of God. Hallelujah, glory. So in Revelation, in Revelation chapter 12, in Revelation chapter 12, verses number 11, the Bible said that they overcame him. They overcame him in the name that's above all other names. They overcame him, hallelujah, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. I said they overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony. So who are you trying to overcome? Is it cancer? Is it disease? Is it witchcraft? Is it poverty? Is it financial embarrassment? Is it debts? Is it delay? You are going to overcome it by the word of your testimony. That's why I urge everybody in this broadcaster whatever the holy spirit has done to you publish it write it down hallelujah and send it on my whatsapp and say man of god Hallelujah. This is what the Holy Spirit has done. Hallelujah. Glory. This is what the Holy Spirit has done. Hallelujah. Today I was so blessed. Hallelujah. Glory. And I really thank God because I can see people are picking the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. A lady came. Hallelujah. And was testifying. He said, man of God, I have noticed. Hallelujah. That my family members who used to ignore me, who used to look down upon me, who are not involving me in the business, in what is going on around, in decision making around. I have noticed that they are now trying to involve me. They are now trying, hallelujah, to inquire, to ask me about what, what, is, what, what can be done. Hallelujah, Gloria. They have heard what I'm good at, hallelujah, and so they, when, when, anytime they have a need, they come to ask me. Before they were not doing that, they could just overlook look me hallelujah she said hallelujah glory that the family members are now asking her that even as she's coming to pray that she also needs to present the family members uh, to the holy spirit uh, these were people not talking to her child of god i want to tell you something uh, the holy spirit my god almighty whatever he does uh, you must testify it doesn't matter whether you think it's small or big uh, you must publish hallelujah glory. The Bible says, and they overcame. They overcame. The meaning of overcome means to go over something. Hallelujah. To go over something. I don't know what barrier the enemy has put in your life. I don't know what barrier the enemy has put in your family. I don't know what barrier the enemy has put in your business. But as you testify, you are going over it. Somebody type and say, I am going over it. I am going over it. I am 
going over it uh, in the name that is above all other names. Uh, I am going over it. Uh, I want to serve notice uh, to every situation that has been disturbing you uh, as you have been hosting the Holy Spirit. Uh, you are going over it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, somebody say, Holy Ghost, uh, because of your power, I am going over every situation uh, in the name that is above all other names. Uh, the Red Sea was a barrier for the children of Israel. Uh, but by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, they went over it. Uh, somebody, you are going over that situation. Uh, right now, it is too heavy. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, you don't need to know how it's going to change. Uh, all you got to do is to host the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Ghost uh, is the master strategist. Uh, he knows, my God Almighty, how to handle your situation. Uh, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Uh, I need 20 people right now uh, to share their broadcast to 100 groups uh, and advertise the Holy Spirit uh, in the name that's above all other names. Uh, and they overcame him uh, by the blood of the Lamb uh, and by the word of their testimony in this period of time, child of God, uh, where they are selling fear everywhere uh, at your workplace. Uh, they are selling fear. They are saying, oh, Hallelujah. They are saying, oh, COVID-19 has entered the company. They are saying, oh, COVID-19 has entered the office. They are saying, oh, COVID-19 has entered your city. They are saying, oh, COVID-19 is around the neighborhood. I'm telling you, fear everywhere. The enemy is busy advertising fear in the name of my God Almighty. But the devil is a liar. How are you going to overcome fear? How are you going to overcome fear? How Hallelujah, glory, by the word, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of your testimony, in the name that's above all other names, the Spirit of God put something in my heart on this testimony service that we need to pray, hallelujah, and welcome the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, glory, to swallow every fear in your system, to swallow every fear in your mind, to swallow every fear in your heart, the enemy will always plant a seed of fear because the devil knows hallelujah that in the book of Job the devil knows in the book of Job the Bible says what Job feared came upon him what Job feared came upon him today I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost what you fear will not come upon your life I cancel your fears by the blood of Jesus somebody open your mouth and say Holy Ghost today I cancel every Every fear, I cancel every fear, I cancel every fear in my life. I open a mouth and begin to pray and say, I cancel every fear in my health, in my mind, in my thoughts, in my spirit, in my body, in my marriage, in my nation. I cancel every fear by the blood of Jesus mana makota labado shaya mare bako sata ramando rebako sete jore manda rabako sete rebrodosha i cancel every fear i don't know what you're afraid of i don't know what the enemy has put on you that's brought fear hallelujah some of you right now there's a person here your mind is heavy actually there's a pain on the right side of your of your head the enemy has been battered in you with fear. How are you going to overcome this and the other? How are you going to make it past this test? How are you going to move past this, this obstacle? How are you going to pay your bills? But that devil is a liar. I said that devil is a liar. The Bible says, my God Almighty, in the book of Timothy, that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of boldness and a sound mind. Somebody share their broadcast to a hundred groups. I need me some serious top sharers who are going to advertise the Holy Ghost and make the devil mad in the name that's above all other names. My God Almighty, somebody you're afraid. You are asking, man of God, how will I eat tomorrow? How will I pay my bills? How will I do this and the other? But the devil is a liar. The Bible says, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus in the name that's above 
all other names. The enemy has released fear in the land and he has brought even COVID-19 and he has released fear. Hallelujah, glory. Some of in your nation, they are saying it is COVID, COVID season 2 or COVID phase 2, COVID phase 2, whatever it is. But tonight I have come to declare to you the Bible said in Psalms 91, the Bible said in Psalms 91, he that dwelleth, he that dwelleth, he that dwelleth, he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth, he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The sacred place of the most high God is the Holy Spirit. I say the sacred place of the most high God is the Holy Spirit and he has told us to host him every 10 p.m. East African time. He's told us to stop everything and host him. We are dwelling in the sacred place of the most high God every day as we tune in 10 p.m. East African time as we share the broadcast to our friends as we tag everybody as we partner with the work of the Holy Spirit through giving. Hallelujah. You are dwelling in the sacred place of the most high God. He said he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the most high God not he that visits not he that visits but he that dwelleth to dwell means to stay to dwell means to live there to dwell means to abide there in the name that's above all other names we have come to abide my God my God my God somebody type and say Holy Spirit I will host you every 10 p.m. East African time I will date you I will advertise you I will partner with your worker. I will tell everybody about the Holy Spirit. He that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And verse number two, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. My God, in him will I trust. My God, in him will I trust. Not in what the government is saying. Not in what the, na the nation is saying. Not even the next upcoming president. It is good to vote. Hallelujah. And I want to congratulate our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Glory. In the United States of America for exercising their democratic right. Hallelujah. Glory. And now after exercising the democratic right, Hallelujah. The result that showed up, uh, the results that come, hallelujah. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid because he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the most high God, he that dwelleth not in White House, not in State House, he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. He is my, fort, my, my fortress, my refuge and my strength. In him will I trust. I love us three. The Bible said, surely, my God, it means it must happen. Surely, it means it is a promise. Surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Surely, he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. My God, my God, my God. Today, hallelujah, glory. We had a meeting, hallelujah. And somebody testified, hallelujah, of her loved one, hallelujah, glory, who had tested COVID, who had tested COVID. hallelujah. The person, hallelujah, glory, tested negative, hallelujah, glory. The Holy Ghost is moving in the name that's above all other names. Why? Because surely he shall deliver thee from the snake 
snare of the fowler, Maka Satalabadosha, from the snare, from the snare, the planned destruction, a snare is a trap, some of the enemy has put traps for you in this year, he has even put a calendar, he has even marked the data that the enemy intends for you to collapse and die, he has put a snare around your marriage, he has said it will not work, he has put a snare around your health, he has said you cannot recover, but the word of God, we have a verse that covers us, we have a verse my God, uh, that has ensured us. Uh, I said we have a scripture that has ensured us, uh, that has covered us. Uh, in Psalms 91 uh, and verses number 3, uh, he says, surely uh, he shall deliver thee. Deliver who? Uh, deliver the one who dwelleth uh, in the sacred place of the Most High God. Uh, deliver the one uh, who dwelleth uh, in the sacred place of the Most High God. Uh, I declare to everybody who has been hosting the Holy Spirit uh, every 10 p.m. East African time. Uh, no attack will come nigh your dwelling place. Uh, no powers of darkness will overpower you. Uh, he that dwelleth in the sacred place of the Most High God. Uh, verse 3, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome Pestilence, uh, they are pestilence, my God. Uh, the Bible is very, very clear from the noise, some pestilence. Uh, it means they are silent pestilence. Uh, they are silent pestilence. Uh, they creep in the dark. Uh, they don't make noise. Uh, they attack in the dark. Uh, they attack when people least expect. Uh, but there's a noise, some pestilence, uh, a very noisy pestilence. Uh, like COVID-19 uh, was a noise, some pestilence, uh, a noise everywhere. Uh, it noise in all over the world. It made noise on TV stations. It made noise on the streets. When you see people walking with masks, masks it shows you how COVID-19 is a noise and pestilence. But the Bible has, tell us, has told us that surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. I want to pray for somebody here who has been afraid and saying man of God, maybe I, 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 I realize I've been or I realize I've been having flu. I don't know what, 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 what is about, what is, what is happening. I have come to declare to somebody, may the blood of Jesus, may the fire of the Holy Ghost burn in your chest and burn in your nostrils. Open your mouth and say, fire of the Holy Spirit, burn in my chest and burn in my nostrils. Fire of the Holy Spirit, burn in my chest and burn in my nostrils. Fire of the Holy Ghost, burn in my chest and burn in my nostrils. Somebody open a mouth and pray that prayer over your loved ones. Say fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn in my spouse's chest and burn in my spouse's nostrils. In the name of Jesus, fire of the Holy Ghost. Burn in my children's nostrils and burn in their chest. In the name of Jesus, we burst that demon of COVID. We burst its stomach. We burst its stomach. But by the blood of Jesus, uh, that spirit of fear that swallowed many, uh, we burst its stomach uh, by the blood of Jesus, uh, the spirit of poverty uh, that's caused embarrassment, uh, we burst its stomach uh, by the blood of Jesus, uh, the spirit of lack and scarcity that caused embarrassment, uh, we burst its stomach uh, by the blood of Jesus, uh, the spirit of divorce and separation uh, that caused disappointment and depression, uh, we burst its stomach uh, by the blood of Jesus, uh, the spirit of debts, uh, the spirit of lack, uh, the spirit of joblessness, uh, the spirit of losses, uh, the spirit of rejection, uh, we burst your stomach uh, by the blood of Jesus. Uh, my God, I feel the anointing. Uh, let me have 10 people to share their broadcast uh, to 50 groups uh, in the name of Jesus on your messenger share, on your WhatsApp share. In uh, the name that's above all other names. Uh, he said in Psalms 91, uh, verse number 4, uh, He shall cover thee uh, with his feathers, uh, and under his wings uh, shall thou trust. Uh, he shall cover thee uh, with his feathers, uh, and under his wings uh, shall thou trust. Uh, his truth uh, shall be thy shield and buckler. His truth uh, shall be thy shield uh, and buckler. I know the government has said uh, you put on masks uh, where you need to obey the government. 
government, uh, you need to put on the mask. Uh, but as you put on the mask, uh, as you observe every measure, the Bible also have said, uh, His truth, my God Almighty, His truth uh, shall be thy shield, uh, shall be thy shield, uh, shall be thy shield. Uh, his truth uh, shall be thy shield uh, and buckler in the name of Jesus. Uh, open your mouth and say, Holy Ghost, uh, you are my truth, uh, power of God. Uh, you are my truth, uh, blood of Jesus. Uh, you are my truth. Uh, you are my shield and buckler. You are shielding my life. Uh, you are shielding my family. You are shielding my business. Uh, you are shielding every member of this broadcast. Uh, you are shielding everybody in the name that's above all other names. Uh, my God, I feel the anointing. Uh, somebody, 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 somebody share the broadcast. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, the Bible said, hallelujah, glory. The Bible said, uh, thou, thou uh, shall not be afraid uh, for the terror by night. Uh, thou uh, shall not be afraid uh, for the terror by night. Uh, thou uh, shall not be afraid uh, for the terror by night. Uh, thou uh, shall not be afraid uh, for the terror by night. Uh, not for the arrow that flieth by day. Uh, thou uh, shall not be afraid uh, for the terror by night. Uh, not for the arrow that flieth by day. Uh, open your mouth and declare by the power of the blood of Jesus uh, and by the words of my testimony, I shall not be afraid uh, of the terror by night, uh, nor the arrow that flies in the night. Uh, there are arrows being shot at your family. There are arrows being shot at your marriage. Uh, there are arrows being shot at your children. Uh, there are arrows from the enemy's camp uh, being shot in the minute hour. But the Bible said, uh, thou shall not be afraid uh, of the terror by night, uh, nor of the arrows uh, that flyeth, my God Almighty, that flyeth by day, my God Almighty, uh, you shall not be afraid uh, of the arrow that flyeth by day. Uh, I don't care who is sending the arrows. Uh, I don't care which motive uh, are they using to send the arrows. Uh, I don't care what the enemy has planned against your life. Uh, but the Bible said, uh, Thou shall not be afraid uh, of the terror by night, uh, nor of the arrows uh, that flyeth by day. Uh, in the name that's above all other names, uh, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, not for the destruction that wasted at noonday. I love verse 7. The Bible said a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but it shall not come nigh thee. A thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand shall fall on your right hand side but it shall not come nigh thee. In the name of Jesus. Uh, so what the Bible said, uh, you will hear news uh, of people falling by the thousands, uh, people dying by the thousands, uh, people going down by the tens of thousands. Uh, they'll be go going go going down around you. Uh, they'll be falling around you. Uh, but for you, uh, the Bible said uh, a thousand uh, shall fall uh, at thy side, uh, ten, th ten thousand uh, at the right hand, uh, but it shall not come nigh, nigh your dwelling place. I say it shall not come nigh my God, my God. I wish somebody could hear what I'm saying. I wish somebody could hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. I wish somebody here could hear what the Holy Ghost is saying. A thousand shall fall at your right hand, ten thousand at your left hand, but it shall not come nigh thee in the name that's above all other names. So the fact that thousands are falling around you must not make you be afraid to think you are next. No, there is a verse that covers you. It says a thousand shall fall at your right hand side, tens of thousands at your left hand side, but it shall not come nigh thee. Somebody pray and say, it will not come nigh my dwelling. Affliction, destruction, confusion, embarrassment, diseases, poverty, premature death. My God Almighty, satanic assignments will not come nigh my dwelling place. Somebody declare this and say a thousand shall fall at my right hand and tens of thousand at my left hand side, but none shall come nigh my dwelling place, nigh my loved one's dwelling place, nigh my spouse's dwelling place, nigh my family dwelling place, nigh my children dwelling place. In in the name that's above all other names, in the name that's above 
all other names. He said, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. I don't know what the wicked has done to you. I don't know what the wicked has done to your marriage. I don't know what the wicked has done to your finances. I don't know what the wicked has stolen from your life. I don't know what the wicked has ripped off your life. But the Bible said, the Bible said in the name of Jesus that only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. It means the wicked can continue becoming wicked, but their reward, their reward is sure. Their reward is sure. My God, somebody open your mouth and pray. Any wicked in my life, any wicked spirit, spirit of darkness, any wicked man or woman, any wicked demonic spirit that's been afflicting my life, open your mouth and begin to pray and say any wicked spirit, any wicked force, any wicked powers of darkness, any wicked spirit of the enemy that's been afflicting my health, that's been afflicting my marriage, that's been afflicting my business, that's been afflicting, hallelujah, glory, the partners in this broadcast, any wicked spirit, that's been afflicting my God Almighty. So open your mouth and declare any wicked spirit that's been afflicting my nation, afflicting my family, afflicting my properties, afflicting the things that belong to me. My God Almighty, Holy Spirit, release their reward, release their reward, release their reward, release their reward, release their reward. The Bible said, Only with thine eyes shall you see the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, only with thine eyes shall you see the reward of thy wicked, because thou hast made the Lord which is your refuge, even the most high God, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, my God I love this verse, I love verse 10, I love verse 10, actually from verse number nine, because thou hast made the Lord, which is your refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, I can say, because thou hast decided to love the Holy Ghost, to date the Holy Ghost, to bless the Holy Ghost, to glorify the Holy Ghost, because thou, in the name of Jesus, has made, has made the Lord, thou hast made the Lord, which is your refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee. There shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Open your mouth and declare to the devil. Let the devil hear. There shall no evil befall my life. Befall my family. Befall my business. Befall my health. Befall my nation. Befall the members of this broadcast. Befall every partner in this broadcast. Broadcaster, there shall no evil befall thee. Manda libado sata labadosha. I said, there shall no evil befall thee. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Neither shall there be any plague. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. It means because you are made the Lord, you are habitation, because you love the Holy Spirit, because you are hosting the Holy Spirit, because you're obedient to the Lord, there shall no evil befall thee, neither any plague come nigh thy dwelling. It means every plague that has been released from the kingdom of darkness. My God Almighty, the Spirit of God has warned them, has given them prior notice that touch not my anointed ones. Touch not my anointed ones and do my prophets no harm. The Spirit of God has given that plague that is afflicting everybody around you. The Spirit of God has given it prayer notice that touch not my anointed ones. The Spirit of God has given the witches and the wizards notice that touch not my anointed ones in the name 
of Jesus. Today, the Spirit of God is giving the poverty prayer notice to depart from your life in the name that is above all other names. Say poverty, you are a plague. Say poverty, you are a plague. 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 Poverty, you are evil. Poverty, you are evil. But the Bible said in Psalms 91 verse 10, There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling place. Open your mouth and declare to the spirit of poverty and say, You poverty, you are evil. You hinder my life from glorifying God. Say, Poverty, you are evil. You have made me mama and complain. Say poverty you are evil. You have made me not to glorify God but today I declare Psalms 91 verse 10 to you there shall no evil befall me. Neither any plague come nigh my dwelling place. Neither any plague come nigh my dwelling place. Neither any plague come nigh my dwelling place in the name of Jesus. Open a mouth and pray and say witchcraft you are evil my God, say witchcraft, you are evil. Say sickness and diseases, you are evil. Be divorced and separation, you are evil. Financial embarrassment, you are evil. Confusion and delay, you are evil. Stagnation and limitations, you are evil. But today, in the name of Jesus, I declare Psalms 91 verse 10 to you. There shall no evil before me, before my family, before my household, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling place. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth, child of God, begin to rebuke that plague. It is in your life illegally. Begin to rebuke that evil. It is in your life illegally. Open your mouth and declare any evil in my life, anything in my life, anything in my marriage, Anything in my health, anything in my business, anything in my finances, anything in my nation that does not glorify God, you are evil. Therefore, I decree there shall no evil befall me, nor any plague come nigh my dwelling place. There shall no evil befall me, neither any plague come nigh my dwelling place. I rebuke you, plague. Come on, begin your prayer. I rebuke rebuke you plague. Open a mouth and declare. I rebuke you plague. I rebuke you plague. You plague of lust of the eye. You plague of polygamy. You plague of adultery. You plague of drug addiction. You plague. You plague of financial embarrassment. You plague of joblessness. You plague my God of homelessness. You plague of struggling in renting. You plague of lack of a property. You plague. You plague. You plague of singleness. You plague of barrenness. You plague of divorce and separation. You plague of failure. In the name of Jesus, there shall no evil. There shall no evil befall me. Nor any plague come nigh my dwelling place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. For he, my God, this is the final verse. For he shall give his angels a charge over thee to keep thee in all your ways. My God, in the name of Jesus, God is giving his angels a charge over you. You will not contact COVID-19. God is giving his angels a charge over you. You are coming out of financial embarrassment. God is giving his angels a charge over you. I see your marriage happening. God is giving his angels a charge over you. I see restoration of marriages. God is giving his angels a charge, you, charge over you. I see people rising from zero, my God, Mary to become financial financial 
financial gurus in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit, give the give your angels charge over me to teach the devil a lesson. He will not forget. Begin to pray and say, Holy Spirit, give your angels charge over my marriage, over my business, over my health, over my finances, over my home, over every area of my life to take care of me in the name that's above all other names. May the Holy Spirit accord angels charge over you in the name that's above all other names. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all your ways. It means you'll travel and return. You'll fly and fly back. You'll drive and drive back. You'll move and return in the name of Jesus. You are not dying. You are not going anywhere. The Holy Spirit has given his angels charge over thee. Say, Holy Spirit, you have given your angels charge over my family. Family, charge over my health, charge over my company, charge over this broadcaster. In the mighty name of Jesus, I worship you, my Father. I glorify your name. I exalt your name. I give you all the praise. I honor your name. I honor your name, O oh God. I bless your name. You are releasing angels. My God, angels are being released. Angels are being released. Angels of finances. Angels of, 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 of unity. Angels of reconciliation. Angels of faith. Favor, angels of abundance, uh, angels of business ideas, uh, angels, 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 angels uh, have been released. Uh, I decree receive your own, uh, receive your own angel in the name of Jesus. Uh, receive your own angel. No longer are you alone uh, in this testimony service. Uh, the Holy Spirit. Spirit has assigned angels for you. I unlock finances today. I unlock miracles today. I rebuke sickness and disease. I rebuke affliction. I rebuke poverty. I rebuke lack. I rebuke division. I rebuke embarrassment. I rebuke all forms of confusion to get out of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree from today, you are not alone. Power is on your side. The Holy Spirit is on your side. The angels of God are on your side. The blood of Jesus is on your side. I proclaim, I announce, I decree in Jesus' mighty name. This is your season. My God Almighty, send the testimony. Let's hear what God is doing in Jesus' name. Child of God, I, I, I beseech you not to cut the flow. Not to cut the flow of hosting the Holy Spirit. Some of you, your life is on the verge of a turnaround. But anytime you're about to turn around, the enemy whispers in your ears uh, and calls you and say, come a bit. Uh, come for one minute. Uh, and one minute, the enemy has ruined your life. Uh, but today, I pray for you. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you will not hear the voice of the devil. Your ears will be deaf to the voice of the devil. And your ears will be opened to the voice of God in Jesus' name. The Bible says, once has the Lord spoken, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Hallelujah, glory. I speak a blessing over all of you. I unlock your testimony this weekend. I unlock your testimony. I unlock your testimony of all kinds. I unlock your testimony in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, glory. Get a hold of your seed. Get a hold of your tithe. And connect, connect the word. React. Hallelujah, glory. React to the prayer. React to the word of God. One of the things that distinguish Jesus. He began in prayer, but he ended in sacrifice. Never just pray and don't sacrifice in Jesus' name. Jesus began in prayer and ended in sacrifice. He ended in giving himself as a living sacrifice. And that beat the devil. Anytime you began in prayer and you end in sacrifice, my God Almighty, the angels are activated on your behalf in Jesus' name. So everybody get your tithe. You are tithing on this altar that we have invoked the blood of Jesus. You are tithing on this altar where we revive the Holy Spirit. You are tithing in this altar where we honor the Holy Ghost. Miracles are going to happen to your life. You are tithing in this altar where the blood of Jesus is crying from this altar. Not any blood, but the blood of Jesus. Begin to send in your tithe and your seed. The numbers are there. Somebody put the numbers there. Plus 254 for those abroad. 
plus 254 727 476 712 plus 254 727 476 712 send your seed send your offering send your tithe through sendwave while you meet western union react to the prayer react to the word of god in jesus name slap that enemy with your seed suck him out of the office of your marriage of your business of your health of your finances in the name of jesus plus 254 727 476 712 for those in kenya get the till number 541 54 191 63 54 191 63 hallelujah 54 191 63 in jesus name you can give through that mpsa till number Hallelujah. Or you can send to the numbers plus 254-727-476-712. For those abroad, you can also use the PayPal account, Eden Worldwide Ministries at gmail.com. Eden Worldwide Ministries at gmail.com in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory. Eden Worldwide Ministries at gmail.com. That is our PayPal account. You can send your seed through that account in Jesus' name. Or you can just use Western Union, Sendwave, or World Remit. This task is not a barrier. Don't let the enemy cut you out because of this task. Hallelujah. There are many ways of sending your seed nowadays. Don't let the enemy cut you out. If you are stuck, just call that number. WhatsApp plus 254-727-476-712. And then we are going to give you the direction how to sow your seed. Your seed is very vital. Because the Bible says that the seed of the woman will crush the head of the serpent. Your seed unlocks the overflow. Bible says the angels came to Cornelius and they said that your prayers and your arms, my God, has reached heaven. Somebody, your prayer plus your arms plus your giving to the work of the Holy Spirit is about to unlock a downpour of a supernatural visitation in Jesus' mighty name. I speak a blessing over everybody giving. Father, in Jesus' name. Speak to your children, O oh God, concerning their future. Bible says, give a seed to the sower and bread to the eater. In Jesus' name. There are people here believing you, Lord, with their tithe, with their seed, with their sacrificial seed. Partnering with the work of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, speak to your people and move them and cause them to be obedient. I unlock their favor. I unlock their miracles. I unlock their blessings. I unlock the overflow. I decree supernatural favor in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, quicken that which belongs to you in Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody is asking for pay bill in the name of Jesus. It is M Pesa till number. It is M Pesa till number. You go to buy goods. The number is 5419163. My God. 5419163. 63 in Jesus name. I can see people responding, people responding. Hallelujah, glory. Just obey the Holy Ghost in Jesus name. There are some of you the Holy Ghost is speaking to what to give. Just obey him in Jesus mighty name. 5419163 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. Give a seed thou slap the devil out of your office in Jesus mighty name. For those of you are tithing child of God, never eat your tithe. A tithe protects, prevents, and preserves. And in this broadcast where we have invoked the blood of Jesus and we are, we are revering the Holy Ghost, as you tithe, my God Almighty, the windows are opening, doors are opening, breakthroughs are opening in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, glory. The other day somebody sent a tithe and after a few days, she sent another, say, man of God, after I just sent my tithe, Another money came and I'm sending my tithe again. Hallelujah. Man of God, you say to us that we give the Holy Spirit the first priority. I'm not going to do anything. I'm sending my tithe and my seed first. Child of God, whenever God blesses you, give him the first priority. Before you do anything, any other thing, give him the first priority. And watch what the Holy Ghost will do. Give the Holy Ghost the first priority. Tell him good morning, Holy Spirit.
in the afternoon good afternoon holy spirit in the evening good evening holy spirit give him the first priority he will surprise you in jesus name your money is changing you are becoming a billionaire you are becoming an owner of properties cars are being released properties are being released you will be a mighty kingdom financer i prophesy over all of you right now you'll be a mighty kingdom financer you'll partner with the work of the holy ghost like you have never done before because the holy ghost is opening doors for you and is causing your life to move to another level i speak those blessings of god upon your life may you see them in less than few hours my god between now and midday east african time tomorrow you will testify of the goodness of the lord in jesus mighty name may your prayer may your faith rise and capture your testimony the holy ghost has already declared between now and midday tomorrow east african time raise your faith now and partake everything that you want in jesus mighty name hallelujah glory i speak a blessing over your life in jesus name you could be there and you're not born again you could be there and you're not born again child of god you can't end this program without leading you to the lord in jesus name hallelujah glory in this broadcast we value the holy spirit we value the blood of Jesus. We value, my God Almighty, salvation. Hallelujah. You, we can't end this broadcast without you giving your life to Jesus. You're that man, that man, that boy, that girl. You're not born again. You're a backslide. You're not sure. Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, today I repent of all my sins. I turn my back on the devil. I hate him. I denounce him in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, come into my life. Save me. Be my personal Lord and Savior. From today, I am yours. My sins are forgiven and my names are written in the book of life. I am born again in Jesus' name. Child of God, if you have prayed that prayer, heaven has already begun king a party, jumping and celebrating because of you who have given your life to Jesus. I would love to pray with you. I would love to encourage you. Send me a message on the on, on, on my WhatsApp line, plus 254-727-476-712. And say, man of God, I have given my life to Jesus. And I'll, I'll be praying with you in Jesus' name. If you have any prayer requests, child of God, don't keep it to yourself. I'm here. I want to pray with you. Hallelujah. I'm here. I want to pray with you. I take your prayer request seriously in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, glory. I want to pray with you in Jesus' name. If I don't know your name still, I need to know your name. Hallelujah. Because I'll be calling out those names in the minute hour, like I always do, for the Holy Spirit to move on your behalf. My God, your life is changing before your very eyes. Fear not. This is your season in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, child of God. Let's meet tomorrow, 10 p.m. East African time. Advertise the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow is our anointing service. You can't miss it. Hallelujah. Glory. Get 10 people to like the page. If you're here and you haven't liked the page of Pastor Steve Nonganga, kindly like it in Jesus' name. I need somebody who can partake a blessing and get 10 people and cause them to, to, to and invite them. Hallelujah. Glory. And the blessings of God. Thank you so much for hosting. Let's meet tomorrow. 10 p.m. East African time. This is your friend, Pastor Stephen Onganga. And I love you to life. Bye-bye.